<laughs> Hi friends, thanks so much for watching our video today. Bandit and I are preparing to leave Lone Tree Campground in Lake Havasu City and head off to another location. Today we have to say goodbye to our good friends Warren and Kim. So long friends. Well, this is a nice way to end a really rough day for me. Broke a tooth the other day, had to have it pulled. Took my RV in to get the generator and the coach serviced and couldn't uh, get the work done that I wanted done. And I was planning on leaving here this evening after I got those two projects done. And I couldn't because I couldn't get everything done in my RV until next week. So I'm back at Lone Tree, which as you can see, is not a bad place to be. <laughs> Yabba dabba. Awesome. My first wild bighorn sheep. I'm trying to see if I can get a decent picture of it for you. Well, that's about as well focused as I'm going to get, but it's so far away you can't see it in the camera. However, maybe in the uh, post-production I can... Uh, I can enlarge it and maybe in post-production you can see it. Here's the best I can do with the post-production clip. He's the light brown speck in the middle of the screen. I am on my way into town to the Anytime Fitness Center where I'm going to do a little workout and take a nice long hot shower. And this is the kind of weather we're looking at here in Lake Havasu City today. It's not always sunny in the desert. <laughs> oh, sometimes when it storms, it storms. And today we got a storm. We got uh, wind gusts at... Uh, Oh, uh, maybe 40, 30 at least, maybe 40 miles an hour. And uh, rain. <laughs> I'm looking to see if we got any washes that have filled up with water. Oh, well, it's still a yabba dabba doo day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi friends <laughs> I'm laughing uh, it's a little bit through gritted teeth <laughs> I'm not always so happy-go-lucky and mellow uh, but uh, anyway I've had some challenges the last few days so I um, I uh, posted the video the Devil's Tower video was my last one and then a day or two later it was uh, time I thought to move on and I kind of had a tentative plan I was gonna go south towards Yuma and uh, go to uh, the Castle Dome mining camp and maybe camp a night or two at Mitri Lake and then start meandering my way across the southwest uh, Interstate 8, Interstate 10, uh, Roswell, New Mexico and and Tombstone, Arizona, and, you know, some of the tourist things, some of the fun things. That's kind of what I was thinking. But uh, God kind of got a hold of me and put a delay on that. So um, I had an appointment to uh, get my uh, coach serviced, uh, uh, oil and filters and all of that. I just didn't want to mess with it myself. And I had, uh, I was going to get uh, my generator serviced at that same time. Same deal, oil, filters, and all of that. Yeah, I, I could do all of that stuff, but uh, I just didn't want to mess with it. So, anyway, 
I took it to a good repair shop uh, here in uh, Havasu. It's, um, Cowboys RV uh, repair, RV repair and uh, auto repair center. And they did a good job. Well, but the only problem was the generator, which is uh, my biggest mechanical concern right now, still wasn't working even after the service. And so they said that uh, it's going to have to go to a specialist in town, uh, Challenger Automotive. And so I called them, and they couldn't get me in until they, they originally they said two weeks. I thought, oh, man, that's really going to mess up my plans. And then uh, they said, now we can get you in on Wednesday morning first thing. So I thought, okay, well, that's better. Uh, but that was still about four or five days away. And uh, in the meantime, it gave God an opportunity to work on my heart a little bit and, and kind of uh, give me a new direction. And that new direction is right up this wash. No, <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just out here walking Bandit right now. Bandit thinks that he's got to chase every uh, blade of moving grass that he thinks might be uh, a gecko lizard. Bandit, what are you doing? Well, Papa, I'm, I'm trying to chase these lizards because I know if I catch one, I can bite them. Bandit... You don't have to bite everything. Oh, yes, I, yes, I do, Papa. I got to bite lizards if I can catch them. And if I can catch a jackrabbit or if I can catch a coyote, I'm going to bite them. <laughs> Yabba dabba do. Oh, bandit. <sighs> I guess maybe if you get a hold of a gecko and uh, he bites your lip or something, you might learn something. <laughs> well, as you can see here, there's, uh, in along in this wash here, there's uh, a low spot that uh, the water collected. We had some rain here a day or two ago, actually a really strong thunderstorm and uh, lightning and all kinds of, Loud stuff was really crazy. Bandit was uh, kind of whining. And uh, anyway, uh, boy, that was, a, that was a cool hummingbird that came fluttering in right here. I wonder if he's got a nest in here. I don't see one. Hummingbird nests are... Teeny, teeny, tiny. There's no, uh, there's really no flowers to suck nectar off of. I'll bet you somewhere in here that I just can't see is about a quarter sized hummingbird nest. Hmm. Too bad. Well, I can't see it. I'm <laughs> moving on. I don't know. Where was I in my story? Let me think about it. So we uh, got an appointment uh, for Wednesday for Challenger uh, Generator Service, or I can't remember the full name, but the important name is Challenger. <laughs> so we're going to be in there Wednesday morning. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to... Uh, have a uh, lunch appointment with a very good friend of mine on uh, Tuesday afternoon. And uh, you all will remember her from the trip down at uh, Braun, Braunig Lake, I think it is, in uh, San Antonio and Padre Island. And she and Mike uh, used to be an item together. Uh, and they went their separate ways, but I'm still very good friends with both of them. And uh, her name is Marlo. I haven't seen her in a year, but uh, she and I are going to have lunch together uh, on Tuesday and just catch up a bit, and uh, we'll see what's going on in, in Marlo's life. Oh, my. Look at the color. 
you can run into out here in the Arizona desert. Isn't that a pretty purple? Yes, sir. Go Washington Huskies. Purple. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is nice. I found uh, a taller tree with a nice little piece of shade here. Uh, you can't see my face too well, but uh, who wants to see the ugly old Papa's face anyway? <laughs> so, let's see, where was I? Oh, I just finished telling you about uh, I'm going to have lunch with Marlo. Funny thing about that is, is, is uh, as soon as I get my generator fixed, the new direction that God uh, is sending me is out to Slab City. Why, I'm not sure. And that's where Mike is. <laughs> so Mike was just telling me that he was thinking of coming to Havasu and was wondering where I was. Maybe we could hook up here. Then when I said, well, I'm, I'm thinking about coming to Slab City. <laughs> Feels like the Lord wants me to go there. And uh, so uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll run into him there. I, he's kind of considering now what what he should do uh, if i'm coming there he might wait for me there and and we'll hook up and and maybe i'll stay there a while maybe he'll leave maybe we'll both stay there uh, who knows that's kind of the nomad lifestyle and especially when you're a christian nomad uh you kind of go where the spirit of god leads you and uh, that's uh, that's where i'm going and that's why i'm going going to go to Slab City. I, I feel strongly led that that's where I'm supposed to go. Again, I'm not sure why, but God knows why, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> yabba dabba doo! <laughs> well, I sure do love these uh, Havasu Mountains and this uh, Lone Tree wash camp area man I, I i sure hope god lets me live long enough to be able to see this again it's a beautiful 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 sight you know a person could can camp into that crowded campground where i am if they took their time they could kind of pick their way further deeper out into this desert and find a pretty decent place to camp out here. You may have to move a few rocks. Uh, you may have to uh, flatten it out just a little bit. But uh, that's why God invented the rake. <laughs> so, yeah... I love it here. It's one of my favorite desert places. Lone Tree Wash. Well, see, some people are finding or making a flat place out here in the desert to, to camp. I, I can't really see a way in here for an RV. But uh, there's a couple of fire rings there and Here's a fire horseshoe over here. And uh, there's kind of a, a rock border around it all. So I'm not quite sure how they might have got in here with an RV. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a kind of a, a flatter way to come in over there, maybe. Maybe they got in here with an RV. I don't know. Well, I missed him again. <laughs> I had another uh, hummingbird that uh, came in for a little drink here on this group of flowers. And uh, couldn't get my camera out in time to, to get a, a clip of it. But uh, maybe I will before I'm done with this hike. <laughs> I got my foot right down here uh, next to... Uh, Looks like a great big thick chicken bone. It's probably uh, a rabbit bone that a coyote got and uh, ate up right here. But uh, yeah, there's coyotes out here for sure. I hear them almost every night. Seldom see them, never see them here. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, 
That's what's on the menu today. <laughs> Raw rabbit. Hmm. After I got the bad news at uh, at the RV repair shop uh, that I needed some specialists to take a look at the generator, uh, and I had to stay for another almost a week, I just came back to my favorite campground out here at Lone Tree. <laughs> I love it here. Well, walking along here, headed back to camp, when I run across... This? <laughs> now, I can't imagine any reason why somebody would take off their boots and leave them out here. <laughs> I don't get that. I wonder, did they have another pair of uh, shoes or boots to change into? Uh, did they decide they wanted to try going back uh, barefoot just to see what it like if they were stranded out here someday <laughs> I don't know seems kind of weird to me so this is uh, just this is Warren and uh, his mayoral staff Warren is the mayor of Lone Tree and um, the only the only problem is is that uh, the mayor today was impeached yes. yep. and he uh, and he has to leave the campsite and so uh, the staff is uh, breaking up and being scattered to the four winds I'm passing and, my baton and and to we're Claude, all to Claude as the new camp host and, and Claude, 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 Claude as the new camp host we're all going to end up on the staff I was we're, calling him, we're, I was calling him we're all going to end up on the staff of uh, Bernie Sanders oh, <laughs> oh, 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 like Bernie Sanders? Oh, no. That's like just a case you got. All right, so say goodbye to uh, Warren and uh, and uh, here's here's Kim, the first lady, the mayoral couple that uh, got impeached, and so uh, yeah, they're booted, they're out of here. They gave him 24 hours to hit the bricks. And Warren said, "Ha! Ah, I can be out of here in one." And they're in, and they're in the cults too. They do sacrifices at night. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Yeah, the sacrifice of red grapes. You know, glasses of wine. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been great camping with you guys. God bless you. Safe journeys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you up in Post Falls uh, uh, in the summertime. Oh, that'd be good. All right. Okay, friends, happy trails. Warren and Kim. Wish you God's speed and God's blessing in Jesus' name. <laughs> Goodbye, Warren. Goodbye, Kim. Hopefully we'll see you again up at Post Falls, Idaho in the summertime. Hey, all you friends, thanks for watching our video. And thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Do it right now, okay? Thanks.